Hi, it's Chester Osborne here from Derenberg in McLaren Vale, South Australia. I'm the fourth generation winemaker there. And it's freezing right now, middle of winter, so I've got the ski jacket on. Um, we're launching our 2007 Top 3 Reds, our Icon range. And uh, um, it was quite an interesting year, 2007, because we had quite a dry winter and shoot growth was quite low. Berry size was very small, the yields were very small, and so the seeds were actually quite prominent in the ferments. We had to be quite careful about our extraction. Normally we foot tread 90% of the production, and this year we actually only foot trod about 10% of the production. But actually it worked out really well. The wines have this really beautiful, uh, fragrant, spicy character which is really lively. Um, they, it seems to cover the oak completely. The wines in the palate have a really good fragrant spicy fruit character which is very lively and gritty and long and spicy without actually being oaky at all and without being blocky and the, the tannins actually are lively and, and fragrant so it's, it's really a very uh, attractive vintage. The Ironstone, uh, typical 70% Grenache, 25% Shiraz, 5% Morvedra, and is um, uh, just pretty typical of a normal year. You know, being a uh, dry year, Grenache works really hard, and uh, that's when it usually makes its best wines anyway. So gritty, fragrant, spicy, um, going quite long. Uh, the Copper Mine Road. 2007 um, it still has a normal cassis and mint and just a little edge of green notes just a little greeny bean like note at the end which is which says I'm screaming Cabernet Sauvignon good good weight um, and long fragrant length with the oak totally integrated the dead arm 2007 also uh, another concentrated year but, but the wine is not fat, not heavy, not oily, but really lively. It's even got a still nice flowery note. The oak is really integrated again, so there's no toasty oak characters. In fact, quite difficult to see the oak because the fruit is so beautifully strong and spicy and fragrant. The aniseed licorice character on the nose and then the middle palate, again, aniseed and just a little crushed ant-like note. Uh, very long, gritty, fragrant tannins and still some nice flowers. It's still quite tight. Uh, wines that will age for at least 10 years and maybe for 30 years. Cheers.